This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to your first check on sports. I'm Jonathan Benson. Minister V. Alfred Gray looking to get the sport of sloop sailing to the next level here in the Bahamas. In this vein, Minister Gray has announced that his ministry will put on a regatta conclave on Saturday, February 9th at a venue still to be determined. The conclave will start at 6 o'clock in the evening and run for roughly two hours. Come with your ideas in writing uh, to give them to us on your feet or you can just uh, come and uh, give somebody an idea that they can speak to. And uh, at the end of it all, I'm hoping that we will elect a chairman or president of the uh, National Regatta Committee, a secretary, a chaplain, whatever the offices are, uh, so that we, leaving that conference or conclave, will go on to ensure that the country's premier sport will be enhanced by the very development of this one umbrella organization. Well, the Bull Reds Regatta Committee honoring one of its own at the event's closing ceremonies on New Year's Day. Ken Iceman McPhee was one of the founding members of the regatta some 11 years ago, and he's humble that his contributions have not been overlooked. They must be see something in me to, to honor me for this 11th Bull Reds Regatta. You know, I'm one of the founders. Um, um, Godfrey Bo was um, the next one of the founders. But see, one, one night we get down, we sit down and we decide that we, we was going to do this. Now we're in the 11th year. We got fellas like Buzzy, Cecil Smith came on board, you know, and they're the driving force, you know. We, we, we work together as a team and we, we can keep it going as long as we... Um, as long as the sponsors are keep, uh, coming, we're going to keep it going because New Year's Day is the first race for the start of the sailing year for the regattas. So Paul Reds, um, take that step first to, to, to make it happen. I congratulate the crew of Golden Girls for winning the 11th annual Paul Reds regatta. Golden Girl is a good boat. Um, once you handle your boat right, uh, in this type of weather, any mistake counts. Talk a little bit now about your plans moving forward. I know this is a big year for the National Family Island Regatta. You're the chairman of the local committee. How are plans shaping up there? Well, um, you know, after this regatta, um, we go in full gear um, to make it happen. You know, there's 60th year coming up. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of work ahead of us to, to get this 60th off the ground. Well, with the new Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium able to hold some 15,000 spectators, the question arises of whether or not it can be filled when the 2013 Carifta Track and Field Championships take place during Easter weekend. This is what B3A's boss Mike Sands had to say on the matter. I'm not concerned about that too much because I'm satisfied that the, the show that we're going to put on, the performance of the athletes, our success at Carifta, uh, coming off the heels of the Olympic Games and with the diaspora of uh, support from the Jamaicans and the Haitian delegations and others, I'm satisfied we'll get 15,000 persons in this facility. Well, the Bahamas Softball Federation getting set for its annual general meeting next month. According to President Burkett Dorsett, at that time, a motion will be brought to the table, which will make it mandatory for all coaches to be certified. We've written to the ISF, and they have uh, allowed us to use the four internationally certified coaches here. And once those coaches here conduct those clinics, uh, and they are certified, those coaches who receive the certification from the Bahamas will be recognized by the ISF. And that will do it for your first check on sports. Back to you, Keishla and Candino.